how's it going? Welcome to your daily dose of tea. And tarot. So, let's see what the cards have to say today. Ooh, justice. Hmm. Justice might be your line of work. Justice might be what you are all about at this time. There's all kinds of forms of justice. It comes in so many shapes and sizes. Um, large, small, like large scale, we've got, you know, court happenings. Small scale, we have advocating for yourself and getting what you need. And it's all about balance when it comes to justice. So it may have nothing to do with um, crimes or uh, somebody getting punished. Even like karma is not something that I think is, should be the focus um, when it comes to making sure that uh, there's restitution and restoration of relationships right so we don't take karma inventories of others <laughs> anyways that that in itself right there is a form of justice for the self it's not being attached to what happens to other people who have wronged you it's letting it go and moving on with your life and healing Okay. Sometimes you do have to take measures, right? Other times it's all about letting it go. And we have a tower moment. Maybe you're letting it go or you're being forced to let it go. Whatever whatever um, you've built thus far, something's going to change, something's going to happen. And it's I I oft, like the tower for me is always for the better. It, it may result in some like feeling like a major loss has occurred or um, just resorting to catastrophic thinking. But the foundation of whatever this building is built on, whether it be um, your home life, your work life, uh, personal life, um, religious institutions, governments, like it could be big or it can be small, but a tower moment is just something coming to an end. A structure. Some type of structure. All right. And you're moving on, moving forward, marching on. This is not looking back either. Not looking back. We don't need to turn into a pillar of salt. <laughs> when I was watching, I was watching an IG reel about that, not looking back. It's also about like being bitter. You know, when we hold on to things, it makes us bitter and it holds us back. It's like we keep a piece of something that we don't like or something that wronged us and holding on to that holds us back and it it manifests into being bitter or having some type of resentment which will eat away at our spirit but we are not we're moving on to greener pastures today there's something that is changing and we are taking responsibility for ourselves for our families we got three here so let's see um ourselves our families we have a solid foundation internally. We know that there's going to be some turnaround with the energy output that we've created. We're confident in that. And it's, you know, it's reflected in our subconscious. Like it is changing the way we move through what we're doing. We've had some, um, some awesome paycheck to paycheck life in the recent past, struggling financially, but also trying to achieve that balance. Um, in order to be healthy and judicial. <laughs> I'm 
So Libra comes to mind as well. And just accepting harsh truths. Harsh truths is that, you know, it might be a bit of a rough go in the beginning as we move forward. Uh, you might trip and fall a few times. It's like learning how to walk again. But at the same time, this is still the goal, even though we may not, you know, immediately um, experience a turnkey operation of feeling healthy about ourselves. We could be coming to an understanding or, or a realization or learning that there is possibly some health concerns that we need to deal with. And, and that's okay. That is okay. Knowledge is power. You can't fix it if you don't know that it's broke. Oh, now that we know there's something a little bit broke, we can put our minds to getting it fixed. Our minds will be focused on refining our lifestyle, altering our mindset, adjusting it, um, making sure that it is ready for the next set of lessons that we have to mentally process. We got a lot. People see that we're processing a lot. There's some, there's a lot that we have on our plate. There's stuff that we need to put down. There's stuff that we need to repurpose. But people see, they recognize. This is kind of like this, in, like the 10 of, of wands in along with the um, six of, six of wands. So people see that your burden is quite heavy that you bear. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're miserable and sad. It just means that you got a lot on your plate and people can see that. Queen of Pentacles. So you hope to really just stay grounded and nurture your health, your wealth, your finances. Um, taking care of the spirit of your foundation as well that has been interrupted with this tower moment. So these are really things that you want to hold on to. We don't want um, anything to manifest uh, that is negative as a result because it can like sort of take over like a fungus. We want we want to be healthy. We want to use what we have. And also, I'm getting like foraging. Foraging um, doesn't necessarily mean you have to be out there foraging, but just gathering what you need that, you know, and that with a cost that is sustainable. And, you, you know, when you forage, it doesn't cost anything other than the energy and gratitude that we give in the act of putting ourselves out there to do that job. So, setting some awesome, powerful intentions to heal this cracked foundation that has caused this tower moment, to learn how to readjust and to direct our energy in a focused manner. Super focused is the magician. They have the ability to utilize all of the elements, to use them um, not at their disposal, but for their benefit, like for their own benefit, as well as the benefit of others. So a good magician takes into account everything that can benefit from setting intentions and performing rituals and um, spiritual activities that will foster wellness and doing things in a good way all right i hope you have the best day ever and we will catch you next time take care and bye for now